Hi people, you're underneath the front of a 2016 Ford Everest. I'm about to replace the diff oil. Now these are a very similar setup in the Ford Rangers, so what you see here is much the same. Now it all begins by removing the metal cover that sits underneath the engine, which can expose the diff. Looking at the lower right hand side of the diff, you'll see the drain plug. I also noticed here that there was a fair bit of weeping coming from one of the seals. I guess that's something to keep an eye on. Now on the left hand side of the diff, you'll actually see the fill plug and it sits up much higher. Now I recommend before going much further that you give it a good spray off and make sure it's all clean. There's no dirt or mud or anything that's going to drop into those fill or drain holes while you're working on it. So the first thing you want to do is to remove the fill plug. I used a 9mm hex to do this but I have seen some different fittings on some different models um, so make sure you have the right tool before you start the job. Swapping back onto the right hand side of the diff it's now time to remove the drain plug. Again I use the same 9mm hex bit to remove this. Once this is fully undone the fluid will just run out so make sure you have a drain pan or catch pan ready. Also note that the drain plug is magnetic so there will be a collection of fine metallic particles on there. Mine had a couple of bigger pieces in there which is a little concerning, um, maybe something to keep an eye on but definitely want to clean this off before you put it all back in. Once you're happy with how much fluid has drained out of the front diff it's time to reinstall that drain bolt. I don't have the torque specs for these ones so again I just used some common sense and just did them up nice and firm but not over tight. Now to refill the diff you're going to need to put a small hose into that fill hole and either pump or have a squeeze bottle that can get the oil back into the diff. Now you'll know when it's filled because the oil will begin to run out of that fill hole telling you that it's at the correct level. Once you're happy with the level of oil in the diff it's time to reinstall the fill plug. With this done I suggest giving the whole diff a good clean off make sure that there's no excessive oil. Also take the car for a drive just check for any leaks and remember to install that metal plate underneath the engine as well. Hey now, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the comments and questions, so make sure you put them below. Consider subscribing and check out some of my other videos.